in this chapter we are going to learn in details the different functions of operating system like definition history and example of operating systems and computer system organization at the end of the course students must be position to identify different concepts of operating system dear students welcome to computer science classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science vidyasham first grade college temple of excellence mysore students in this session we are going to discuss the syllabus prescribed from the university of mysore for bca course for semester here we are going to discuss about the learning outcome and number of units and what is the internal and exam patterns at the end of the course the students must be in a position to explain the fundamentals of operating systems and different programming under os that is multi threading programming process management storage management and schedule algorithm and identify features of io and file handling methods see at the end of the course students must be positioned to identify different concepts of operating system so here there are three units in your syllabus and under that we have number of chapters so first unit 1 and unit 1 the chapter 1 that is introduction to operating system so now we everyone we are familiar with operating system like windows and dos unix linux ubuntu and so on but in this chapter we are going to learn in details the different functions of operating system like definition history and example of operating systems and computer system organization that is physical components of computer system types of operating system functions of each operating system and system calls and operating system structure see so this is a concept to be covered in chapter 1 and in chapter 2 we will talk about process management in depth so you know what is a process say any program in execution is nothing but a process that is the basic definition of process so we are going to learn what is the definition of process and what is the process state process control blocks and threads and so on and process scheduling multi programming scheduling queues context switch and operations on process like creation and termination of process and inter process communication that is ipc definition and need for ipc and implementation of ipc by using shared memory and message passing see these are the topics to be covered in chapter 2 of unit 1 that is under process management next chapter 3 under unit number 1 so this is cpu scheduling so in the, under that we are going to learn what are the basic concepts of scheduling scheduling criteria algorithm and multi processor scheduling thread scheduling and multi processor and real time cpu scheduling so this is the chapter 3 of unit 1 now in the next slide we will see that is unit 2 chapter 1 and in unit 2 chapter 1 this is multi thread programming so this is we are going to learn what are the what are threads definition of threads different type of threads and multi threading definition and advantages multi threading models thread libraries and threading issues now chapter 2 it is process synchronization so here introduction race condition criticals section problem and peterson solution and synchronization hardware and semaphore classic problems of synchronization and these are the topics to be covered in chapter 2 and in chapter 3 it is deadlocks the under this we are going to learn different models of system models deadlock characterization 
and how to handle deadlocks and prevention, avoidance, detection. All these are to be covered in chapter 3. Next under unit 3, we have again chapter 1, memory management. See memory management, under that we are going to learn logical and physical address space, swapping or continuous allocation, paging, segmentation with paging. This is the next section. And next one is virtual memory, introduction to virtual memory. Next one is demand paging, page replacement, page replacement algorithms and allocation of frames and thrashing. These are the topics in chapter 1 of unit 3. And in chapter 2, it is about file system. In file system, we talk about what are file attributes, operations and types of files, file system, file access methods, directory structure, protection and implementation of file system structure. See, these are all the topics in chapter 2 of unit 3. So here and your entire syllabus is, is divided under three units, unit 1, unit 2 and unit 3. Now let us see the internal part of it and here internal marks is for 40 marks. So here there are two internals, internal 1 and internal 2 and another 10 marks is for your viva, seminar and assignments. So here internal 1 we are going to take up the unit 1 and 2 and unit 2 and 3 for second internals and here remaining 10 marks is for your viva, seminar or assignments. And look at the question paper pattern and all of you know that this question paper or this paper is of theory 60 marks and 40 marks internal. So what you have seen in our previous slide, this is for internal for 40 marks and in theory this is a question paper model and here there are two sections or part A and part B and under that in part A is a compulsory question and here we have to answer six questions of two marks each so total 12 marks and in unit b or part b we have unit one two three four in all the units we have you have to answer one question of 12 marks each and they will be given there are there will be two questions you have to answer any one of two questions in all the units unit one two three four and all the units of it for 12 marks each. So total marks for this question paper theory paper is for 60 marks. So this is a question paper pattern. And let us look at the reference books here. One is this is the one reference book and this is second one and this is third one. So there are various books are available with a different concept so you can study any of the study material for your reference so this is a reference books students so here in this session just I have given you the brief introduction of the syllabus of bca for four semesters and the course paper is operating system and also we have discussed about the internals and as well as question paper pattern now, let us continue our discussion in my next class. Thank you very much.